Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And in doing this, all of us should be able to do something. All of us should be able to do something. And all of us should support whatever efforts that can be put, you know, to remove Haka in the Including the issue of, you know, reconciliation between Mao Sampa and Edgar Lungu or Mao Sampa and PF. It should be there. It should be there. You shouldn't be. I've, I mean, some of you, you didn't get it, you know. <laughs> Those of you who have followed me, if you go and look at the comments that I've been making on Mao Sampa's page, I have always been calling for reconciliation. I've always been calling for unity. That's what I've been doing. It's not today that I've, I've done this. I've always done that. And um, I also want to tell you that uh, uh, there have been people, there have been people that have been talking to Mao Sampa. This is a fact. There have been people that have been talking to Mao Sampa in trying to unite, you know, uh, different political parties. In trying to unite different political parties. Of course, this talking is not only to Mao Sampa. It's to different people. So, in other words, there are, there are a number of politicians that have been talking. There are a number of discussions that have been currently going on in the country. And the reasonable politicians have been responding positively. Reasonable politicians have been responding positively. And Mao Sampa is one of those reasonable politicians. Mao Sampa is one of those reasonable politicians. Mao Sampa is not bad. Mao Sampa is not bad. He has his weaknesses, that's for sure. He has his weaknesses, like anybody else. I have my weaknesses. Mundubile has his own weaknesses. But Ed Galungba has my weaknesses, Yago. Uh, Nakachinda has his own weaknesses. Kampionga has his own weaknesses. And you can go on and so, you can go on and on. We are human beings. We make mistakes sometimes. And uh, but what is important is that when we make mistakes, those who are our friends, those whom we share the interest, the same interest, should be able to embrace us. And we hug and hold hands to forge ahead. This is the situation which is there at the moment. We are looking at a situation where all of us, we can put aside our differences and concentrate on one thing, one national agenda that Haka Inde Ichirima should not go on in 2026. Not because we don't like Haka Inde Ichirima, but because Haka Inde Ichirima has messed up our country. Haka Inde Ichirima has brought misery in the lives of Zambians, in the lives of us, in, the, in my life, Haka Inde Ichirim has brought misery. I'm here because of Haka Inde Ichirim. So, we should have that national agenda. You young people, you should join in. You should join in. The business community, please join in. Uh, different political, political players, please join in. Let's have this. I'm a little bit disturbed or not very happy with it. this other group that is coming up to say the Zambia we want. It's fine. They can form that Zambia we want, whatever, if it is an alliance, if it is a political party, that's fine. But I am aging, including, I'm aging those people that are in different political parties, okay, to come, that can we come together? One Zephi, a friend member. KBF, let us come together. Let us unite on one thing. Let us unite on one thing. And that unity that we should unite on is that Haka in the Ichlema has messed up our country 
and Dhaka NHNMA should not continue in 2026. Let us unite around this. And when I say uh, we unite, and uh, somebody is asking, but who should be the leader? It is very clear that at the moment, the best person is Ed Galungu, for a number of reasons. One of the reasons is that he is a former president. Is a former president. This is the only man that is already sold out. This is the only man that commands respect among all of us. Eh? This is the only man. This is the man that has got, uh, you know, at least some connections better than the rest of us. This is the man that we can use. We can use Ed Galungu to put to to, to put him there and sort out the constitution, sort out the constitution, sort out some of these uh, the uh, glitches that we have in our democracy. So Ed Garungu is the best tool to use at the moment to sort out a number of, a number of issues. I will not uh, refuse to say, no, Ed Garungu is perfect. I always emphasize on this. Ed Garungu has got his own weaknesses, just like any, any of us. But what is good about Ed Galungu is that, number one, we know him. We know him. Even me, I know him now. I know by Ed Galungu. I know. We know Ed Galungu. You know. So at least it's easy for us to deal with him. Number two, he has that experience. Number three, he is the only man that at least within, uh, uh, he, he, you know, he can only be there for a term and allow us to continue. And he's the only man that can help us to sort out the issue of the Constitution. He, he, the Bill 10 failed, I'm sure he would be too happy you know, to pick up that uh, agenda and finish, bring it to, uh, to fruition. So, that being the case, I don't think it would be wise for us to start uh, debating, no, who should be president, no, Edgar Lungu this, no, whatever, whatever. Eddie Galungu is already sold out. He's already sold out. So let us go with a person that is already sold out. That is already sold. That is already uh, sold out. The problem that is there is that uh, whilst some of us are working tirelessly to put things together, while some of us are putting things, are doing something, we are doing something. We are working. I don't. I mean, I don't just come here to start talking. No, no. I, I have something that I bring out here. I move things out of this discussion that I have here. I move things. My name may not be written on some of these things, but I move things. And this is why I've got so many cases in Zambia, because I move things. I'm a mover. I'm a person that is able to initiate something and run with it. And it gets momentum. It gets traction. This is a gift that God has given me. This is a gift that God has given me. And I must be recognized for it. That is a fact. I'm a politician, like I said. We are not volunteer workers. We are not charitable organization. I must be recognized for my efforts. And upon the Fokulanda, the Fokulanda, if we shink as it were, and I will even come to Mao, to Mao Sampa. In politics, Uyu, it's, this one brings in this, this one brings in this. The problem which is there is that when you are fighting like this, you fight, you fight, you fight. When you reach there, some people take advantage of who? the situation or their connection with the one that is leading. I'll give you an example. In 2015, in 2015, in 2015, when Vasata died, Vasata died in, 2020, in 2014, we had elections in 2015, January. That's when we had elections. When Vasata died, I was in the political arena. I was supporting Given Luvinda, a man that I respect so much. I was supporting Given Luvinda, 
And then, like and many other people, they were supporting other candidates. You remember there were other candidates. Mao Samba was also on his own. We had also other people. We had Rajibm, remember. Okay. Some of us, at the end of the day, we folded our camps. We folded our camps. Myself, we were given we folded our camps and went and supported Edgar Lungo. A number of people did that, supported Edgar Lungo. Okay? Mao Sampa also, if you remember, there was a, an agreement which was made. There was that reconciliation which was brokered by Guy Scott at the vice president's house. When that issue was brokered, of course, uh, Guy Scott, you remember, even let Father Chirinda, uh, Bishop uh, James Banda, uh, is it James Banda or Joshua Banda? Anyway, they, they managed to bring the two, by Edgar Lungu and Mao Samba. From there, by Edgar Lungu won the elections. And just after Wailung won the elections, Imingalato started playing. Imingalato started playing. Some people who were close to Ed Galungu, those who were being found with Ed Galungu, you know, started controlling things. Started controlling things. A number of people, I don't want to go into the details of whatever, whatever, but those, those of you, uh, even you people, you could remember that there were people that were busy moving around. Eh? Like a man, my brother, Emmanuel Mwamba, was busy moving around. Blah, blah, blah. He, he did so much work. But when it came to the time of getting positions, we saw people that were really not so much in the limelight. People that, yes, they, they must have contributed in their own way, wherever they were. But people, people started getting positions from, due to their connections. We started learning, oh, Kwaribanoi, oh, Kwaribanoi, oh, Kwaribanoi. And the people that were actively in the battlefield, the soldiers that were on the ground, some of them were left out. I was one of those soldiers. I was one of those soldiers. I worked with Kaiza Zulu. I worked with Wachirubanama. But I was left out. When you talk about Mao Samba, Mao Samba was also left out during that time, ka? In 20, 2015, Mao Sampa was left out. Mao Sampa was left out. Okay? So, this is, I'm giving you an example where we fight, we fight, we fight. Did that enama? When we have killed the game, the game is before us. Some of us, you put ama fences. No, iwetawa indireko, iwe, imininakoko, iwe, whatever, whatever, whatever. And those who have, simply because they have got connection with the person that we have fought for. You see, there are people that are fighting on the battlefield. They are sacrificing their lives. They are taking the bullets. They are getting hit and so on and so forth. And when this person, to put this person in power, like we did with Ed Galungu. Ed Galungu was up there. The people now that started getting positions, it's those that were connected to Malungu. And Malungu also had his own people that he thought, okay, this one. And some of them were left out. Some of them were left out. But Kambuiri, people had to shout, hey, Kambuiri, hey, Kambuiri, 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 for Kambuiri to be appointed. Eh? Even given the win. Even given the win. Eh? Finally, he was appointed as the agricultural minister. So there was that limbo. It was like there were people that said, now not to Fika. Hey, we have now reached, so what? And soldiers, real soldiers, some of them were left out. Some of them were left out. I am saying these things, I'm going back because I don't want the same thing to repeat itself. I don't want the same thing to repeat itself. And I also want you to understand where Mao Sampa is coming because a lot of you, you have just been saying, Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa. I want you to explain. I want you to understand where Mao Sampa is coming. Even how this convention came about. So I've gone back to 2015, and 2015, Mao Sampa was left out. 
From there, Mao Zamparili, Tawufitale umfika noko umfika, shupiko noko shupiko, whatever, whatever, until he was given the issue of, uh, you know, when there was uh, that uh, by-election, Yabu mayor, and he was given the position Yabu mayor. Whoever, you know, spoke to Navalungu, Shan Shan, but I comment Navalungu because really, at the end of the day, he had the last say. So, Valungu made it possible for Mao Sampa to become a mayor. But where we are coming from, Mao Sampa was dribbled. Mao Sampa was sidelined. But anyway, he was given a mayor. Some of us, we were given nothing. Some of us were given nothing. Then, after that, we had the elections in 2015, in 2016. 2016, uh, no, yeah, uh, no, not, 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 not 2016, 2020 to 2021. 2021, of course, Mao Sambozi nominated as a member of parliament, and he won in, in Matero, and is now the member of parliament for Matero. Some of us still, in our trying and whatever, 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 some of us were still left out. Other people were also still left out. Of course, we, not everyone can go in and whatever, whatever, but I think there must be a way of recognizing the soldiers that are in the battlefront. This issue of recognizing people just because Eva Sangwa na, na Kateka is not good. It's not good. It brings divisions. It frustrates other people. And I'm talking about this. We don't want it to be repeated. At the moment, we are fighting, and there are a number of people that are putting in their best. But there are people that are some of us, and some of us, we are just not like that. Even if I were home, I'm not one of those people that naturally, no, I'm not one of those people. I don't operate like that. But does it mean that? my contribution is less does it mean that i don't contribute much no no it doesn't i mean some of us we move things we move things and this is a fact you can argue it with you with whichever way you want it's a fact even this alewere rapo agenda i started it i started just talking about alewere rapo when it was not sexy at all when Talking about it looked crazy. I started talking about it and it grew. It grew. Unfortunately, it brought problems on me. It brought a lot of problems on me. It brought a lot of pressure on me. And I was not helped. I was not, let me not say I was not helped, I was not adequately helped. Yes. Each time I was arrested, there were people that would remove me and whatever, whatever. But I was not adequately, adequately helped. I was going to court on average three days every week. Three days every week. Sometimes I would go four times. Sometimes the whole entire week, I would spend it in Kuma court. My lawyers got tired. My lawyers wanted at least even here a few well. I couldn't give them. And no one could come to help me. No one. I mean, a lot of people that you talk about, I couldn't, I didn't get the help. I didn't get the help. And yet, I was almost drowning in my own problems. They kept on piling cases on me, piling cases on me. They really strained me. But what help did I get from Many of you, what help did I get? What help did I get? What help? And you, when a person court every every day, almost every day court, when is he going to have time to work? When is he going to, to have time to make money? And at the end of the day, Kunganda, Wasangati, you know you have got bills, I'm like Takuri, you have got Amenshi. I'm a busy, shan shan, I'm a nakuma school, whatever. I was strained. I was strained. But I was not helped adequately. Once a fear, 
Don't even think I church and I was not helped. I was not helped. What happened? What did I do? At the end of the day, I realized and that's how I went and started pleading with Waka in the HM. But small boys and girls on social media started saying, no, no, dad is not consistent. Dad is not consistent. He's not consistent. You didn't know what I was going through. You didn't know what I was going through. Some of you, you were speaking in the comfort of your diaspora. Eh? And you felt like you, you know better. At the end of the day, me, I was powerless. I was beaten. I was really beaten. And I had to go and, be, you know, plead with the Bahaka in the so that maybe I can be considered. Unfortunately, I couldn't be considered because none of those cases were dropped. None of those cases were dropped. Except at least I had a little bit of a breather because I was not being arrested. 2023, 2023, I was not, I was not arrested, 2023, eh? 2023, I was not arrested, until Kuma last week, and I, I, I'm not arrested yet, I'm been this year, but at least 2023, I was not arrested, 2022, I was arrested so much, but 2023, because I had gone to submit, I had become subservient, I was not being arrested, that is how I even started my business there. Unfortunately, they maintained the cases and I came to know that they still wanted me to be, to be jailed. They still wanted me to be jailed. That's when I realized to say, oh, so this is the plan. And worse off, when Valungu came and paid for my, for my fine, that's when again I'm arrested at Ampile. I'm arrested and them raiding my house. It is because I revealed that Raed Garungu paid me, gave me money to pay for, for, my, for, my, for my fine. And I realized this is, this is not going to be okay. That is how I, I left the country. Now, what I'm trying to give you is that whilst from outside you are seeing to say, ah, no, Tal is not consistent. Eh, Tal cannot be trusted. You didn't know what I was going through. You didn't know. And in your assumption, you thought, no, 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 and whatever, whatever. No, there were times when I almost walked from court going to go and complain. I've got so much respect for her. One time she even had to pack my vegetables and whatever, whatever for me because I had nothing. I had nothing. I have so much respect. So I reached those levels. And those guys, they, were, they kept on coming, they kept on coming. I had nothing to do but to submit to Baka in the HDM. Now, I've given you my experience. I'm giving you my experience. What about Mao Sam? Mao Sam, yes, he was given who mayor. But when Mao Sam was a mayor, Mao Sam was not respected as a mayor. Mao Sam was being sabotaged by his own PF brothers and sisters. Mao Sampa could not do as much as he wanted because there were people who were working against Mao Sampa as a PF member. There were people that were working against Mao Sampa. There were people that, that barred Mao Sampa to get access to Valungu. There were people when Mao Sampa was mayor. Luckily, when he, it reached 20, uh, 20, 2016, Mao Sampa was adopted. And Valungu prevailed over that. But that made even things worse for a lot of other people. They were people that could not want, did not want to see Mao Sampa. And Mao Sampa was complaining. Me, I know. He used to complain the way they treated him, the way they were treating him, PF. Next, because of that frustration, you saw Mao Sampa had a press, com press conference and he seemingly supported the UPND. And when he supported the UPND, whatever he did, whatever he said, what did we see? 
Mao sa mpa suspended. Mao sa mpa suspended. Of course, I'm not faltering the people that the disciplinary actions that were done. I'm not faltering them. Uh, it is it is not my 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 my. Uh, that is not the the, ob the object of my discussion. The discussion that I'm that I'm bringing, the point that I'm trying to tell you is that whilst we may be saying, you may be saying, Mao Sampa, eh, Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa, we also have to look at how Mao Sampa was treated, what Mao Sampa went through. We need to look at it. We need to look at it. Yes, Mao Sampa could have made mistakes, but what about us? Yes, even me, I could have made mistakes, but what about you? When I was really suffering, when I was busy crying, please, please, njafueniko, njafueniko, what did you do? When Mao Sampo was crying, hey, imumwe bantu imwe, shan shan in, hey, give me access, kurubagungu, whatever, whatever, what did we do? What did we do? So, if if in two if 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 in two if like I've said, that certain, the way we, the way we are treated, the way we are treated, sometimes you make us react in a certain way. You make us react in a certain way. And those of you who are, from, who are far away, you start making judgment. You start passing judgments. But you don't know what somebody is going through. You don't know what somebody, what somebody is going through. And because of these things, the way Mao Sampa was being treated and everything, you know, he also looked for an opportunity to get back at those people that treat him bad. He looked for an opportunity. And the opportunity was to get close to Hakarinde Ichirema, was to get to the UPND. And he hatched a plan, which plan was approved by the UPND. And we saw that convention. We saw Mao Sampa taking over. With the help of the UPND, we cannot run away from this fact. The UPND helped Mao Sampa to get PF from the PF. But all of you, Abalenanda, hey, Mao Zichi, Mao Zi, hey, Shan Shan, Shan Shan, you should also consider what Mao Sampa went through. Yes, me, I've come out, I've criticized, I've said a lot of things about Mao Sampa. But it is basically politics. And I have tried, by all means, at least to understand Mao Sampa. And throughout all this time, I can tell you, we have been chatting with Mao Sampa. Me, I've been chatting with Mao Sampa. I've been chatting with Mao Sampa. He's my brother. We talk. We talk. Because I understand him. And I'm sure Mao Sampa also understands me. Even when I criticize him, he understands me. I've not, I've not played whatever, whatever. I've been honest. I didn't agree with him to, to take it the way he took it. But surely there is also something that you should you need to look at it from his point of view. So basically what I'm saying is that whilst you are you may be saying, ah, but this one, hey, but this one, but this one, you also have to understand that in PF there have also been weaknesses. Weaknesses which has frustrated people. In PF there has also been selfishness. Where some people, yes, they made money, and they made money just for themselves. Yes, they would share ka five pinyu ku kashani kashani, but really, there are people that made money. We know. We are not. We, you can't fool us. We you can't fool us. We know. We know by the fact that we cannot be talking about these things. It is because I mean we are going to destroy the unit that we are talking about. But we know. We know the money that you made. We know Allah Imwe. We we know just that we cannot be bringing this. It's a wrong time. But you have been some of you. You have been so selfish to an extent that some of you wasanga to muntu le ah you were more than you were jafuako. If you if you if you tapa and jafuako. Ah we was very really was if ah we miromana shuma. Everybody is coming out like they don't have. The next day you come and hear that muntu wa muikata. Now 20 million bank account. And you're like, ah, who you want to earn a reggae nyako yesterday or what? Njafako ndipileko feka three pin. Eh, mpereko lawyer. And he was pretending like he doesn't have anything. But next, we hear, 
Vamos ikata na million mu account. That is bad man. That is bad. That is bad and those are things that I'm talking about to say we need to change. I'm talking about these things so that we change. Mm -hmm. And then there are some people because they stay close to Navalungu. Eh? Because they stay close to Navalungu because bana na TV won say bana chere na shana 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 shana. Eva bana Eva bana kwa na na to fabricate lies. To fabricate lies against those who are waking. This has to stop. It has to stop. By the fact that you know you have got time to be spending time with His Excellency, it doesn't mean that you should now start poisoning some of us. You should be poisoning a Brani Mundubiri. You should be poisoning a Mao Samba. You should be poisoning. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. We appreciate you. That is your role. You know, moving around with the president. That is your role. It's good. But don't take yourselves as if you are the most loyal people. Some of you, you know, you, you don't get to the heat. Some of us, because we move things, we, we, we are always bent. And when we are not helped, we react in a certain way. Mao Sampa also acted in a certain way. I am saying this, I want you people to understand Mao Sampa. I want you to understand Mao Sampa. And going forward, going forward, now that I've talked about Mao Sampa, that there is something that we need to look at. Eh? Even on the side of PF, even on the side of leadership, even on the side of Vaid Galungu, there is something that we need to look at. Even on the side of uh, given Mwinda. But one thing that I'm happy about given Mwinda, I spoke about him, I spoke to him on Mao Sampa. His heart is pure. His heart is, is open. That's one thing that I, I appreciate about given Mwinda. I spoke to given Mwinda and I can speak confidently that the man has this open heart towards Mao Sampa. Towards Mao Sampa. And he, Whatever happened, Mao Sampam may have felt like, no, Given Luvinda is the one that suspended me. But really, Mao uh, Given Luvinda was put in a position that it was difficult for him. If he didn't act, people were going to say, no, because he's your friend. So he had to act. Also to send a message to other people. That's why Mao Sam, uh, Given Luvinda acted in the manner that he did. It is not that he had anything against him against me, Mao Sampa. No, he did it. But he had to act because he had to show leadership. And it was difficult because the guy that is involved is his friend. If he doesn't act, then what? People will accuse him. You see? But over and above everything, the, on both sides, there is something that we can look at. And I on out those things. I on out those things. So at this point where we are going forward, going forward, I know people you are you are excited. You are waiting to hear a press conference where Mao Sampa will say, No, I've handed over power to Ed Galungu. Mao Sampa doesn't need to hand over power to Ed Galungu. Mao Sampa doesn't need to hand over power to Ed Galungu. Because Ed Galungu doesn't need to be the president of PF. What we need Ed Galungu for is to be the Republican president. And he can be a Republican president without being a president of PF. He doesn't have to be a president of PF. Going forward, because you are anticipating that, no, uh, like some of you are saying, no, me, I will only congratulate him when I see him give back PF to my Ed Galungu. He doesn't need... He doesn't need, he doesn't need, Mao Samba doesn't need to give, a, you know, who President Kuli PF, he doesn't need. I'm not saying he shouldn't do it, but it should not be a priority, it should not be a preoccupation. It should not be a preoccupation. So don't be looking forward to a statement, no, Mao Samba, now, hey, no, no, don't be looking at that, to that. What you should be focusing on is the unity. What is there now is the unity. There is unity. Mao Sampa is willing 
to work with other opposition. He's working, he's willing to work with other opposition. He's, will, he's willing to work with other colleagues. But since Mao Sampa is willing to do this, I want to emphasize that we should warm up to Mao Sampa. We should warm up to Mao Sampa. Because if we don't warm up to Mao Sampa, if we don't warm up to Mao Sampa, if we let our egos or our arrogance get the best of our of ourselves, this thing will be messed up. This thing will be messed up. And once it is messed up, we are in a weaker position to fight Maka and Dejri. But if we are united, we stand a better chance. So Mao Sampa should be accepted by all of us. And Mao Sampa should be given the support, all the support, for him to do the right thing. He's already doing the right things. He has compromised. Today he has announced he has appointed the, uh, uh, he has appointed the Tawanikane Mulenga Kampamba as leader of opposition. He's moving. Mulenga Kampamba is on the side of Bayed Galungu. Mulenga Kampamba is Bayed Galungu's person. So he's doing the right thing already. He's doing the right thing. Mao Sampa is doing the right thing. He has appointed the a, 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 a deputy a, a SG. He has appointed, I think, a, a chief whip. Mao Sampa is performing. Mao Sampa is doing what is right. He is the president of PF. And he, whatever he's doing, he's doing something that is beneficial to all of us. So why should we be having issue with Mao Sampa? Mao Sampa is performing. Mao Sampa is performing. Mao Sampa is doing what is right, what is good for all of us. Why should we not trust him? At least in this, in this area. There is no trust in politics. But at least at the moment, we can be sure that Mao Sampa is working, you know, on the same agenda. On the same agenda. So, don't be preoccupied. Don't... A, a speculate what did they discuss did Mao Sampa say sorry uh, no 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 be happy by the fact that those two met that is good be happy that those people had a discussion that is good be happy that those people shook hands and pray that those people keep talking those people keep talking what will happen tomorrow? Don't be excited. What is Mao Sampa going to do? As long as whatever happens tomorrow is for the good of everybody. That's okay. That's okay. Edgar Lungu, no, until Edgar Lungu is president, no. Edgar Lungu is not going to be made president by being a political party president for any political party. Even for Uka, no. No, we don't need it. Mm, Ed Galungu to be president. We don't need Ed Galungu. No, Ed Galungu, we just need him to be our candidate and win an election for us. That's what we want. So relax. Relax. Things are happening. Things are happening. Of course, they're not happening in a manner that you would want with the drama that goes around with it. No, this is what. No, 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 no. There is a mature way of approaching these issues. There is a mature way. And what you are seeing is a mature way of approaching things. Let's support Mao Sampa. Let's give him the encouragement to continue doing this which is good for all of us. As we are doing all that, remember, there is also UKA. There are also other political parties. There are also other political parties. So let's not forget this agenda. Let's not forget... Uka, for example. Let's not forget uh, that there is a Fred member. Let's not forget that there is or whatever. That is what we should be continuing. That is what we should be continuing. That is what we should be looking at. But Ed Galungu has met with Mao Sampa. I'm looking forward to Ed Galungu meeting with my Fred member. 
I am looking ndefu ambweke shepo I am looking forward to ba Edgar Lungu meeting with Fredman one on one I am looking forward to uh, Edgar Lungu meeting with uh, 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 what is his name uh, KBF I am looking forward to uh, Edgar Lungu meeting with you know Sean Tembo I am looking forward to uh, Edgar Lungu meeting with you know Jack Slavwe all of yes I know these others they are already in Uka but what I'm trying to say is that at this point in time, it should not be surprising you when you see Waed Galungu meeting with different people. And I want to tell you that you will see more of these people meeting Waed Galungu. More of these people meeting Waed Galungu. Because Waed Galungu should be our candidate. He is the best candidate. Even those are at Zambia, the Zambia we want. I am also saying, even you, please come this side. Let us converge around Edgar Lungu. Like he, you know, like a queen among bees. Let us all converge around Edgar Lungu. Let Edgar Lungu get power from us, from Edgar Lungu, from Haka in the HDM. He's already sold out. No one is as sold out as Edgar Lungu. And, and, and we have no option. I'm not even going to, to start talking about no uh, concord, whatever, whatever. But concord, they just have to do the right thing. They cannot do the wrong thing. They cannot change what they created themselves, what they said. They cannot go back on that. So, Edgar Lungu uh, is definitely our candidate. And there should be a lot of more meetings like the Mao Sampa meeting. And don't be excited. Don't be preoccupied. No, Mao Sampa is going to hand over. That should not be a priority. Priority should be unity. Priority should be people not being selfish. We don't want a situation where other people are going to be sidelined. And if Balanda meaning now that we are not in power, we must be able to see that unity. We must be able to see that embracing. We must be able to see those forgiveness, that tolerance. We must be able to see all that. So that people may have the confidence that yes indeed, what I'm fighting for will yield results at the end of the day. People should not be doubting. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. We should be very, very clear and we should start showing it. We should start showing it. So that is the issue relating to the uh, Edgar Lungu meeting uh, Mao Sampa. I don't know if I've explained it in a manner that you can understand. Basically, the issue is that basically the issue is that there have been discussions with almost everyone at different levels, different forums, we have been engaging. We have been engaging. That meeting that you saw, it's not easy. It's not that Mao Sampa can just stand up and say, nah, balloon, and you find him there sitting waiting for him. No, it doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out like that. It is because people have been talking here and there, here and there. Reasonably, reasonably. And Mao Sampa has been also reasonable. Also reasonable. So he should be supported. He should be supported. Mao Sampa should be supported. That is uh, uh, the issue. Those of you who are close to Vaed Galungu, Nami Papat, stop making others, you know, alienating others. You should stop. Because we need all of us. We need all of us. We need Mundubire. Especially some of these people, you know, Paravena Mundubire, Emmanuel Mwamba, and, and others, you know. Some of these people, they have done so much. Their names may not be written in the history book to say they, are doing, they did this, they did this. But some of these people, they are part of 
what you are seeing now. And it must be harnessed because if it is not harnessed, fear or like. If you are not going to be able to do it, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. If you don't handle this situation properly, we have got two years in between. We can we can lose it. We can lose it. So let us promote that brotherhood. Let us install confidence. Let us help one another. Let us help one another. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.